Some people, when they accomplish the phenomenal task of playing all of the levels and all of the games played of two of the same one card, there is one thing that they usually say. One thing I tell you! One thing, hashtag Burritos Nation! They say, it's a pro. Well, there's something that I want to tell you today. I'm not going to call this a pro. I'm going to call it... <gasps> a Joe! <laughs> oh, wow! What is going on? Hashtag Burritos Nation. Why am I standing up? Just as I can. But I'm going to go ahead and sit down like Sam I am. But anyways, guys, this is another episode of WWE Supercar. Was this 393 or something like that? All divisible by three. It's just kind of cool, fool. But yes, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that first part of that episode where I got myself a Joe Pro. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we got ourselves the road to glory that is going on, which is pretty awesome like a possum, if you ask me. And you know what's not awesome like a possum? Having to wait on the network, and it always seems to show up right when I'm starting my episode. It's just got to do it every single time. But as you can see, we're going to begin to say, You can get it, you can get it, you can get it. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm just in the singing mood. I was singing a little bit ago, because why not? <laughs> Let's go ahead and shout out people in our new King of the Ring right here. We got ourselves Jonathan once again. He's killing it. Pretty sure that he leveled up his pros in this King of the Ring, because he just cannot be beaten. And I don't know if I can beat him or not, because the one time I played him, I was asleep, I'm pretty sure. We got Eric Angelique. As well as Jason, Rainbow War 17, Ash 1972, Mike Zippo, Waylander, World's Dopest, who actually has a YouTube channel, so go and check him out also, because he's awesome like a possum. So shout out to World's Dopest right there and his YouTube channel. Nelson, Undertaker, RK Hunter, sounds familiar. A Smackdown, you can get it, you can get it. <laughs> Red Dog and Jonizi. Jonizi. So we got ourselves a full human king of the ring where's your boy at so far tied or i'm actually in fourth place this is the first time in a while i've gotten a full king of the ring of humans so i don't and i don't use the special like 600 credit thing my bobber 100 credit thing my bobber that you have to do to you know get automatic stuff these stuff stuff when you're asleep but yeah we are almost done with roman reigns roman reigns i hate you Bam, bam, you can't wrestle. Willinator, that's a pretty cool name. Willy, willy, willy. Willinator. But yes, guys, where are you guys at in your Road to Glory grind? What are you guys going for? Y'all already know what your boy's going for. I'm going for the King of Swing. Cesaro. Yeah. All right. The Swiss Superman. Yeah, my nose itches. I almost said my itch noses. <laughs> my itch noses, guys. If you want, I want you guys right now. Yes, do it. Right in the comments below, my itch noses. My itch noses, Rainbow, my itch noses. <laughs> but yes, guys, we got Sami Zayn. We are rolling with the deck right now. That's pretty cool right now. Um, probably soon I'll probably blow up at least a couple of pros like my Finn Balor and my um, uh, la, 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 my Braun Strowman. I'll probably end up leveling them up pretty soon to help out my team because I have the worst cards in my team pretty much right now besides like one person. And I believe he's leaving. Yeah. But yeah. Here we go. Nice little Brock Lesnar F5. And now the tag team. Let's go with Brian Boy and Dolph Ziggler. So it's pretty cool. I'm really, really hyped. We are two days away from No Mercy. I'm going to get to go and possibly see Dolph Ziggler in his last match. Well, really, really cool. A crazy plot twist. Even if he really, really does. I got to get out of this layer. There we go. Um, if he does have to end up retiring because he's wanting to get out. It'd be cool if they kind of did something where they had him win and then he retired right there. It was like he retires anyways. I just, I really don't want to see his last match be a loss. I mean, The Miz is a really, really good wrestler in my opinion. He's one of my favorites, top five in my, um, of my favorite wrestlers. Top five, 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 not ten like <laughs> Ty Dillinger, but you know what I mean. Um, but I don't. I would. I just wish that Dolph's last match wouldn't have to be against Miz. Miz is a good wrestler and all, but he's not like the top guys. You know what I mean, like an AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose, or John Cena, or something like that. Even though I don't like Cena, but you know what I mean. It'd be cool to have Dolph finish his 
on a higher note, I was just hoping that this whole thing is just like not even true and that all the rumors are wrong and Dolph actually stays around because I would just really, really appreciate that to see my favorite wrestler still going on. Of course, I am really, really happy. Also, Swagbag, <laughs> you guys, some of you guys don't know this, but Swagbag is actually one of my favorites as well. I like Swagger. Jack Swagger is really awesome. I just can't wait. I'm going to be bringing my um, Swagger um Bob as well, my Swagger t-shirt, as well as my Dolph Ziggler t-shirt. I just can't wait to live be going like this, guys. We the people! Just, I'm just so hyped. I'm so hyped to see Swagbag. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and get our picks right here. And that shall be pretty darn cool if you ask me. Emilicious, are you guys excited for Emelina? I don't know. I'm kind of torn on it. I don't want them to change her, um, her thingamabob or her, uh, her gimmick but it might it's gonna happen and hopefully it's just not something stupid all right so let's go against the freak of the wwe dean ambrose very fitting there all right so wwe freak let's see if we can defeat you all right so dina boy let's see what you got homie even though you're probably like super rare ultra rare epic tier or whatever all right, so we're going with natalia who i've actually <laughs> forgot to actually train up at all yesterday so i'm I put her in my King of the Ring like really, really late yesterday. So I, or not King of the Ring, my Road to Glory lineup. I can't talk right now. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah. All right, so there we go. Seth Rollins, compatible tag team with Finn Balor. And we're going to do a nice little win right there for the hashtag Burritos Nation. Round one is to Rainbow. Now we're going to go with the good old Xavier Woods to beat up on Roman Fistum Reigns. As well as a toughness match with Andre the Giant. All right, all right, all right. And now tag team match. Got to go with Dolph Ziggler as well as Sami Zayn. Ole, 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 ole. No way, Jose. <laughs> I just told. I just totally put No Way Jose and Sami Zayn's song like together. That's not even Sami Zayn's song. It's just stuff that happens at soccer games and. Stuff like that. I don't know. Happens at sporting events. All right, so there we go. Nikki Bella to go against Beige. Get a nice little rack attack. It'd be cool if they changed that. If they would, that would be really cool if they actually changed her. Um, took the time, Cat Daddy, to change her finishing maneuver in the game to actually do that move where she has her on the rope and kind of like a twisting RKO. It's like an F5 into an RKO, kind of what she does now. It's pretty cool. And I would, that'd be cool if next season of season three they actually have her with that move. All right, so there we go. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming they won't have her with the um, with uh, Rack Attack next season. You know, assuming that Nikki Bell is going to be in Season 3. But we don't know. We don't know anything about Season 3 at this point, basically. Besides that, we're going to be able to use Season 2 cards in specific modes and stuff like that. And I have heard rumors that before Season 2 ends that we could possibly get a new game mode. So that would be pretty cool, too. I really, really like that. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We got ourselves good old... 15 points right there. Let's see if we can get ourselves something good. Starvation Moose. Pump it up off pumping. Ooh, a rare charisma. I actually have not been pulling any Tala matches at all. This is not cool at all. Ever since the Team Road to Glory, I have not been pulling any Tala matches. Not in this event and not the Team Road to Glory event. So, yeah. All right. All right so let's do one more match. I believe that that's a real bout. Still against Mikal. Mikal, Mikal, Mikal. But yeah, guys. Where are you guys at in your Road to Glory grind? Let me know. In the comments below right now, and I should actually probably turn on my laptop so I can go ahead and like do all the uploading thing my bobs after doing this. My laptop usually takes for some stupid reason it takes about like 10 minutes to you know do stuff here. Sorry guys, gotta drive my laptop. And there we go. Alright, so we're good. Turning on the laptop. Turn it on. There you go, big boy. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's do one with Shinsuke Nakamura against Ultimate Warrior. Ooh, Kinshasa! <laughs> All right, Nikki Bella, let's beat up on Eve. Eve ain't got nothing on me, son. All right, and then we're going to go with a Baron Corbin and Do uh, Dolph Ziggler. Baron Corbin and Seth Rollins tag team. That would be a pretty beastly tag team, as well as I think that Cesaro and Sheamus would be a, will be a great tag team. I think they could be a good tag team. If they actually keep on going for sake of they actually won the tag titles. So I like Sheamus and I also like Cesaro as a tag team wrestler. I think he's a lot better as a tag team wrestler. A lot of you guys will go ahead and, and disagree with me on this. But I just feel like he's more fit to be a tag team wrestler in my opinion. It's just my opinion. 
you guys probably disagree with me, a lot of you guys, but I just, I really, really liked him when he was with Tyson Kidd. Do you guys think Tyson Kidd's ever going to come back? Because Tyson Kidd was actually one of my most underrated wrestlers, in my opinion. I really, really liked his wrestling ability and uh, just tagging was awesome. I just, I could dig that. I digged it a lot. All right, and speaking of Tyson's kid, there's his wife. All right, so Brock Lesnar, a nice little F5 to the retired Shawn Michaels. All right, and then we're going to go with Xavier Woods against the King Booker. Five time, five time, five time. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, guys, two days from now, I'll be at No Mercy, which is pretty awesome. Like a positive word, seven percent on the phone. So we gotta go and finish off this episode real fast right here. All right, so let's go with compatible tag team. I'm really, really hyped. Tell me what matches you guys are most hyped about. I'm most hyped about, of course, the Dolph Ziggler and Miss Intercontinental slash career match. Of course, you guys know that's the most, the one I'm most excited about. Also, second though, I'm really, really excited about the women's championship match just because I really want to see Harley, <laughs> Harley, Harley race. Harley Race, Harley Quinn, you know what I mean, the Harley Quinn girl, uh, man, why can't I, I think of her name, I'm stupid, Alexa Bliss, da -da -da -da. she's like one of my favorites now, I can't even remember her name, but yes, Alexa Bliss, I really want to see her win the title, probably won't happen, because they're right now, they're pushing Becky, but she's just so good, man, she's beaten Becky twice already, but yeah, uh oh, there goes my camera, there it goes, I don't know if that'll show up for you guys, the brightness toned down, but yeah, stop, in the name of the trash can. And a table. Save the table, Rainbow. But anyways, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, let me know in the comments below. Give me a like, a like, a like. A comment, a comment. And a subscribe to this subscribe, subscribe. And I shall see all of your hashtag Brewers Nation tomorrow. Another episode of WWE Supercard. Later. We don't want no ham and cheese. We just want burritos, please. Yeah!